Hi, welcome. I am Mohamed Pusa and thank you for joining us. Before you start your journey to discovering the worlds of computer science and software engineering, I wanted to take a moment of your time to introduce myself, to tell you a little bit about the motivation behind this course and every other course we present to you. You see, programming a computer is a skill that anyone can learn. And to convince you of that fact, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and about my story. My birth country is Liberia, a small country in West Africa. When I was a kid, a war broke out, and 14 years later, over 200,000 people, including my dad and my youngest sister, were killed. Our infrastructure, especially education and healthcare, was decimated. After the war, as you can imagine, poverty was very high, and normal human decency had to give way to greed and selfishness. In that climate, teachers were severely underpaid, and in some cases, not paid at all. As a result, most of them required bribes and or sexual favors from students in exchange for passing grades. This was very common because the average age of high school students during this period was 26. The war has set each of us back 14 years. On one Monday morning, one of my teachers came to class and requested a bribe from each of us. On the surface of it, it wasn't a big deal because after all, it was very common. But somewhere in my mind, I thought, my mom had 10 kids to feed and care for. If she had to give each of us money to bribe our teachers, we wouldn't have food to eat. So I decided I wasn't going to pay the bribe. That decision led to an argument between my teacher and me. In fear of retaliation from the teacher, my classmates couldn't support me when the principal got involved. At the end of that semester, I got expelled from school. I was devastated, but all wasn't lost, you see. While I spent time with myself in my devastation, I started thinking of ways that students could report teachers' malpractices anonymously. That way, I thought, women and girls will have direct means to report sexual harassment, and the rest of us could complain about bribery and other malpractices without fear of retaliation from teachers. My research led me to the internet, which at the time had just arrived in Liberia. While searching the internet, I came across MSDN, the Microsoft Developers Network. At that time, they had an entire section of the website dedicated to beginner developers. The goal of this section was to introduce people to general concepts of computer science and programming. While perusing the courses on the site, it hit me. Instead of looking for a tool to report malpractices in our school system, I could just learn to build one. Ladies and gentlemen, my computer science career was born. The takeaway from this story is one, my career started from watching videos just like this one. And two, we all have inherent abilities that may not be terribly obvious to us. But as we grow and our experiences develop, we come to discover those abilities and how far we can take them. The trick, as I've come to learn, is to begin every journey with an open mind. Never underestimate your capabilities, especially your ability to learn and to grow. Think about it. I mean, really think about it. I am from a country with no pipe-borne water and no electricity at the time, but somehow, somehow, I ended up with an undergraduate degree in computer science from Westchester University and went on to complete a graduate degree in software engineering from Villanova University, where I currently teach computer science. In fact, each of the courses I present to you here is based on the course I teach at the university. I have worked really hard to make sure these courses are, are approachable, regardless of your background, while at the same time retaining the exact content I present to my students at the university. Believe me, there is no mystery here. All you need is time, determination, and a little consistency. You got this. So hit the subscribe button and join me on the journey to discovering the bold new world of computer science and software engineering. Thank you.